tension around Brunton Park is almost unbearable. As Carlisle know exactly what they've got to do, they've got to win the game and then hope that Scarborough don't beat Peterborough United. As the visitors on the attack, oh no, disaster! Plymouth Argyle take the lead. The Carlisle defence backing off. Phillips goes all the way. And his left foot shot. Beats Jimmy Glass. And Carlisle United are now staring the nationwide conference right in the face. Glass forward. It's a long ball too. Carlisle eagerly pick up the pieces. Damon Searle in support. Anthony doesn't need him. It's cleared by the defence to Brightwell and he scores! David Brightwell, it's a pitch invasion from the Carlisle fans. Not the best of shots, but it bounced just in front of Dungey. And Carlisle are level. 28 minutes to go to save their league status. There's the bounce, and that's what beat the keeper. Four minutes of stoppage time. Jimmy Glass himself is forward. The heads go up. It's blocked by Dungey. Glass scores! Carlisle United take the lead. And the goalkeeper has scored the goal. Amazing scenes at Brunton Park. Jimmy Glass is in there somewhere. It's a deep corner. The heads go up. Dungey beats it out. And there's Jimmy Glass to score what surely will be the goal that keeps Carlisle United in the Football League. 95 minutes on the clock. And he's mobbed all the way back to his goal line. There's the save and there's the follow-up.